Okay, platonic solids, there's five of them. We'll get to the fifth later, but we have the tetrahedron, the cube, octahedron, and the icosahedron. Uh, now, using the same template, uh, same technique of drawing, we're going to create these five and make your own little model from them. Uh, very simple geometry to all of this. And uh, so first we'll do the uh, tetrahedron. Okay, and as always, begin with a construction line. And you draw a vesica. So you put your point on the construction line. Point on the edge of the circle. Vesica, Vesica piscis, Vesica pisces, the ves vessel of the fish, this fish symbol, original symbol of uh, Christians, the ichthus is another name for it. Okay, and how to make the tetrahedron? Go off, you go, cap. So we've got our Vesica. Now on the edge of the other circle, so it's uh, sometimes called double vesica. And now one, two, three, four more. You're going to draw circles on there. And now we have what's called the seed of life. From seeds we get flowers, and then from the flower will come the fruit, and then we come back to the seed. Okay, I'm being a little bit quick and rough with this, but uh, seed of life, one circle surrounded by six, so seven in total, also you have your hexagon basic pattern there, so you just draw a line, a line, a line, but we want to do the tetrahedron, and for this, because I'm going to push hard, so okay, we have our first template, and I'm going to do that. I don't want to mark the paper underneath, so we'll go to the back. And with a ballpoint or something hard, we're going to uh, create the tetrahedron. So what we have is four-sided shape, or imagine like a three-sided pyramid with one equilateral triangle on the back. These are all equilateral triangles. A hexagon is made of six hetero, uh, equilateral triangles. And so you know, we've, we go across the, call, let's call these the petals, and so we go create an axis through two of these petals. Now from the center, And now, or from the centre or to the centre, however you want to look at it. Join these lines up. I'm pushing hard to make the folding easier later on. Now we have one, two, three equilateral triangles. They're going to come together to give us that. But what we need is also the base. And so from this point here and this point here, we're going to draw an axis which basically bisects that line. Actually, we don't even need to draw this. I'm just sort of illustrating the point. Okay, now. From here, we're going to connect this triangle to that triangle. Now you 
you could have even at the start just gone straight across that line and straight across that line, uh, easy way to do it. So now if you imagine we have our tetrahedron, either you could fold these up to meet the point, but that's not the best way to do it. Uh, now I'm, this is not a necessary part of it, but just to help with, help stick it together a little bit more, I'm going to add one more equilateral triangle. So this is just to help with the structure, this doesn't actually affect it, so I'll just mark this one out. So this is just one added triangle, just to help with sticking it, gluing it all together. Now, uh, one of the best using this method is also good because we also have these little bits, these little arcs connected to the triangles. Uh, they're also helpful in sticking together. So you have these little tabs and so they're, yeah, like you can fold them over and they actually give you like a little bit of paper to help stick with the other one. Now, cut that out. Okay, so we're going to have those three together. So uh, this is, at this time, this square is, uh, it's useful, but it's not necessary. Sorry, this triangle is, uh, yeah, useful, but it's not necessary. And so what, and I might as well mark this. So what we want to do is we want to cut out along those lines, but we're also going to use these little extra bits of paper just to help us glue it all together. You can even be rough with the cutting, it doesn't matter, just as long as you get the corners neat. So yeah, you can be rough with it, it doesn't matter if, it, uh, if you follow those lines exactly, as long as you've got that little bit of extra, just to help you stick it together. Yeah. Here I'm going to cut. So we just fold those because we pushed hard with the pen just to help us with those fold lines. And that extra triangle is just there to help us get those together. So you could glue it, it's going to save time and use sticky. Okay, there we have the basis of a tetrahedron. Now we fold these flaps over. And you can see, so if you were to, you know, you have your glue with there, now the way you fold, probably better better ways to fold it. But there we have our tetrahedron, first of the platonic solids. Now the four equilateral triangles, each triangle being 180 degrees times that by four, you can also connect the number 720 to the tetrahedron.